Hey guys, David the Spaniard here and welcome to the first video with content of this channel. This time I am going to do a reaction and a play along to movie trivia showdown in our Geekdom division Jay Washington vs Kevin Smets. Run the intro. Alright, so for those of you who don't know what the movie trivia showdown is, I will explain it very briefly. It's a movie trivia contest, uh, it's competitive and it has some ingredients from WWE, UFC and boxing. Yeah, the matches are competitive, the outcome is not predetermined so anyone can win but they also have characters and storylines WWE style and that part I honestly love. So the ones that are competing today in the Inner Geekdom Division, which is movies about all of the geekdoms like Star Wars, Star Trek, um, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Marvel, DC, Indiana Jones, Back to the Future and I don't think I am missing any anyone. The thing is there's only movies, for example in Star Trek um, you can't ask about the TV shows, it's only about the 13 movies that had, that had been released to date. And that's it. So. Uh, the rules of each round, that are three rounds, are going to be displayed in the screen but I am going to like tell you guys what it is about as we go along just in case you don't know the show even though if you are watching this video you probably do know the show um, so the competitors for today are Jay Washington, the urban gladiator who's a veteran of the league, a manager, a great character I honestly like him a lot as a character, as a person I don't know him but I have heard that he's like the nicest person and he is he does he doesn't have like a great record i think he's one and three one win three losses but he's strong he can put some points on the board and on the other side we have kevin smets a newcomer rookie and it's a sensation he got a match and he made a perfect match i think he didn't miss He played a match and he didn't miss. I think he made like a, a one multiple choice. I mean, he didn't miss a single question. Ya, lo tenemos. Okay, so we for the competitors for the competitors for today I are Jay Washington, the Arbon Gladiator, a manager and a veteran of the Inner Gaton Division. He doesn't have a great record, I think he has one win and three losses. And but he can play the game and he can play well. But on the other side we have the new rookie sensation, Kevin Smets, Kevin Dishmaster Smets, who is he only played once, but the match he played, he went perfect. He didn't miss a single question. I think he went one multiple choice, but I mean, it was totally impressive. But for my part, I want to see him play again to know if he's a real deal or if he just got lucky. I mean, he obviously is the real deal because to do a perfect game, you have to know your stuff. But the thing is, will he be as good in this one? That's the question. And that being said, I skipped from the video the first big announcement, so I will start at 2.18, yeah, 2 minutes 18 seconds of the video, so let's rock! Hey! Hey! My boy, hey. Sam! Hey, what's going on, Jim? I love Sam, you? he's my Good favorite competitor. You, see you? Yeah. You I'm not gonna there? enter oh, in the right. gold Talk debate you, because man. In my opinion, you can't yeah. just yeah. say you can't say who's absolutely who's making a name for yourselves. Yeah, guys, and now what? You just uh, you beat my old ride or die. Yeah, Weenie, that's no small feat. Really, it was a tough one. It's been but, impressive uh, this season, victory. honestly. Yeah, it was fun. How about you, the commish commissioner? Yeah, yeah. Was it, it, it? Is it? It no? Is it everything you thought it was gonna be? No, <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah, you look like you need a nap. Yeah, I do need a nap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, but hey, I've actually been working on some single stuff for you. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, so, uh, how about this? Okay. You, you just played them in teams, hmm? but I want you to take on the Insnider ah. head to head. Oh. What do you think about that? 
I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it too. I think it's going to be Snipe a good match. Yeah. Just so Check this out. You win that one. Huh? That's two in a row. You got the momentum going, and then. Uh, you're Do you know what? Probably I'm going to have it for Rayleigh. Like, yeah. so. Why not? I like oh, him, and he has been proud. playing amazing this uh, I will, man. Uh, right. You know? Right. Hey, you get that now. I will. I don't envy you. I'm sorry. <laughs> What the hell did I come out here for? Belt polish! I'll get it later. We have a inner geekdom division yeah. matchup. I am the pit boss, Ken Napsuk. That is Roxy Stryer. Hi, Ken. Hey, Roxy. How are you? We've got <laughs> ourselves, like I said, an inner geekdom division matchup that has been building and building in a short amount of time. This caught on like wildfire. We got Kevin the Smasher, Smets, and the veteran, one of the veterans of this league, the urban gladiator, Jay Washington. Roxy, are you ready for this? epic match. I, I really am. It's going to be an intense one, and also just with the amount of geek knowledge going on, I'm ready to get my geek on. You ready to get your geek on? Yeah. That uh, sounds like a bumper sticker if there ever is one. <laughs> Here is the story. <laughs> Kevin the Smasher Smets. He is managed by a man only known as Kaiser. If you know your World One history, World War One history, that's a little uh, scary. Um, but Whoa. Uh, here is the thing. <laughs> Kevin was a fan, and I don't mean that as a disparaging term. He was a fan of this. He watched it. He studied it. He wanted to be part of this, and he joined the Patreon page, and he auditioned and did not get picked. The chairman said, thank you. No, thank you. You're not ready, sir. So he goes down into uh, what I affectionately call the minor leagues, the fan leagues. He proved his medal there, and he gets called up, and he faces a great charismatic competitor, yeah. another rookie, David Plus Moore, and Kevin Smets smashes him. And Moore was looked good, but Kevin just looked like a machine. He is a winter soldier. Even in the face. He looks like he looks like Sebastian Stan and Sebastian Shaw and Mark Hamill all rolled into one. I see that. Um, I see that. He's a talented guy. He knows how to edit videos. Uh, full disclosure, he's worked with me on some videos. I don't want anyone saying I have any favoritism to him, but I am impressed with what he's done. But Roxy, he started taking shots at Hector Navarro, former Intergeekdom champion. Which is just so above his league at this point. I'm not going to lie. Smets is... A lot of people are talking about Smets right now. Mm -hmm. When I you're mean, in the hallway, I you're hearing think it, he is Smets the person will to watch. smash Navarro. But because Hector, I mean, he, he's When Navarro was champion, right the league, for the inner league, no, league that, was a completely different. A little you know completely. I mean, I think Inman and Kalanowski and Excusi set up like a level that Navarro and all those people that were in contention back in the day are not ready to get there. Yeah, unless they study, of here. course. There are some but Smet, if you he do has another great match and that you do not have the right to proves yet, that, and that he belongs and that he can do media. what he did Promos, every single match, uh, Jay, when he, he's then trying to achieve a super obviously he will be there. The gym at midnight. The guy works out at midnight, Roxy. He's, I see it. He's curling, calling out Kevin, calling out Kaiser, who, who is, is the voice of Kevin as well. And yeah, they went back and forth. Back they were and going forth. But I will say this, as a manager and a student of the managing game, Kaiser... He is he is not afraid. He is he is leading his charge. He has a full uh, full confidence in the smasher there. So that kind of sets uh, sets it up. But I, I think Roxy, we should hear from our competitors today. Uh, let's hear their promotional promos. And your I like. It. Why don't we bring Navarro out? Why don't we get somebody out there think that who can he, give he keeps winning and keeps that so attitude, he will get treated like a face because Smith himself is not a heel. You call him out. It's Kaiser, the one. I feel it's necessary to put you in your place. So, I honestly you know think. How about I get back in the inner geekdom ring? Teach him a lesson. Uh -huh. Whoa. 
I don't know the ones in social media. I mean, I don't really. It's your old buddy Kaiser. I just got off a flight at LAX and my driver picked me up, right? I decided to go on to Twitter and Are see they what's popping. Breaking the fourth wall? What do I I'm find? not sure. I mean. But big bad Jay If they are breaking the fourth wall, really because if stupid. you look at the Schmodown like Called a fiction, the because the I'm characters the and, and storylines and factions and all the this, line. all because this fiction and stuff, because I don't think Kaiser is that douchebag in real life, you know? You run your mouth for your boy, and as you I could understand, Jay Washington is also a, 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 a super you just like likable persona in real life, and here he is like super intense and. I Let's do this. I don't know. You know, here I am trying oh, to have a Emma. nice relaxing Our Patreon Discord and all over lady. My mentions start <laughs> so blowing up by on Twitter talks. because the two of you are duking it out there. So as the commissioner of the Intergeekdom League, I accept your proposal to settle this in the Schmodown arena. So can you please stop yelling at each other on Twitter? Whoa. The video Late. So we've hit the point where here we are, myself versus the Munchkin dude. Jay Washington, this is actually a <laughs> big day for you. You get to say that I you were number it. two on the murder train when the Smasher came through the Schmodown. And I got news for you, buddy. It kind of sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. But in this narrative, the Smasher plays the Grinch who stole your integrity when he puts you to sleep in two rounds. Dig it. You really wanted to go hard at me on Twitter. You tried to. You tried your best to send little videos. You and the dig. Wait, wait, wait. You guys are like in a Twitter war? Yeah, you'd have known that if you checked your tweets. <laughs> you know, Jay, you weren't even in the <laughs> picture. He reminds me you had to open me. your mouth. We wanted Navarro, but apparently he's in the witness relocation program because he's nowhere to be found today. I mean, in your last match, you lost to Emma, and you want to go up against this psychopath? Buddy, I got you for good. We're gonna mop the floor with your blood it today, great in I walk around with greatness. Former movie trivia Schmodown Sometimes heavyweight he champion of the world. You walk around with a reject from Alcoholics Anonymous. You walk around with somebody. Wait, does that mean he's still an alcoholic? Yeah, can't you look at him? He's dead. I love it. I mean, I love Ethan. He's there doing the promo with Jay. Listen, <laughs> our fans know what time it is. We don't care if you're a heel or a hero. You're all just hamburger to us. It's the Smashers time. The old guard, you're on your way out. Kalinowski, Cushing, we don't care. As long as Harloff keeps lining them up, the Smashers going to keep knocking them down. So I got one question for Jay Washington and the rest of the Schmodown. You want extra onions with that loss? Smetch, you won your opening match, your rookie match, and you walking around on cloud nine. You crowning yourself in a geekdom champion already. You ran your mouth to Hector. That's the homie. But it ain't happened. And you ain't got past the gladiator. And you not getting past this one. You and that tight ass hoodie you have on can go back to the to magical little kingdom wherever you came from. You can go back to looking constipated at home. So when you're done and you catch this L, it's only two things you can do about it. Nothing and friggin' deal with it. Damn it. Oh. You called me up, Jim. <laughs> You're the architect of everything that's about to happen right now. And I know you have your I fans am loving here in the it, showdown. Man. You have your fans here in the studio. You got a lot of friends. And I get that. But tonight, they're all going to be let down. When I drag you from one side of that studio to the other. Because it's not about friendships. It's not about the fans. Tell us about, Kaiser. All business. Is it getting a little hot in here? That was some fire going on. <laughs> well, it's kind of like me after seven tacos. Whoa. The sweats and the chest pain start coming there. I'll tell you what, uh, Kaiser <laughs> Kaiser almost has no respect for Jay. And I can tell you, Jay is feeling that lack of respect there. And I love seeing Ethan Irwin, who is a quiet, calm, collected former champion, yelling out the Urban Gladiators a catchphrase. He's earned it. He has earned it, absolutely. So with that, Roxy, I have a little little question for you. Are you ready? Yes, I am. And then it's time for the movie trivia. I'm 
not really a fan when the both announcers Let's say it at the same time. <laughs> but what I mean, doesn't matter. Matchup. It drove juicing first. Led to the ring by his manager and advisor, Kaiser, with a record of one win, no defeats, one KO in the Inner Geeks and Division. He is Kevin the Smasher! Look at that, Kaiser. Yes, sir. The hardest thing Harloff ever did was hire you. It's a oh, it's a, he, you know Whoa. what? He's saying nice <laughs> things happening? about him. I like him. What happened to my handshake? I, uh, you no? didn't get it. <laughs> Look right. at Smets there. He's coming out there. I don't know superheroes that well. I believe that is a boy on his thing. Um, yeah, that's the official Kevin title. is intense. He's intense. You know, he can bench 245, 12 reps real easily. And his opponent. <laughs> Representing the time machine and the mad titan Buso. with a I record in the inner really my favorite tag team for that. And two defeats. Please give it up for the Urban Gladiator J. Washington. Look at that. Ethan Urban bringing him out there. Wow. He's giving him the <laughs> Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. Whoa. Okay. okay. I love it. Jay, Jay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Jay, ah, one and two. I goes. thought it was one and three. It goes. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. The Thanos finger different than the Thanos snap. Right. He lost to it's Emma and kind of like the four way. Yeah. And one against Warren Mayer and I've seen Jay. I've seen the look in his eyes before. This is usually when someone gets their next snap. So Kevin, though, looks confident, too. Uh, by the way, Jay could bench 415, 19 reps at midnight. Gentlemen, let's explain <laughs> the rules in round number one as we got oh this my intense God. These matchup. Faces. Look yes, at these faces. These faces. Uh, this looks like my wife after her uh, divorce hearings. Uh, so uh, let's explain the rules, gentlemen. You're going to get 10 questions in round one. I repeat, 10 questions in the Inner Geekdom Division. Categories ranging all over the nerd spectrum. Uh, you can get, if you want, each question will be worth one point. Let me remind you, you do get Three JTE All right, so rules 10 questions in random categories, question, five, 15 fade, seconds to, uh, to write them in the whiteboard, Josh Tapia. So one point per, uh, uh, one point guys, per wow, question. I don't know. Can we That's get a referee it. Three repeats the, uh, through the entire match to gain some time or here. to listen to the question. And one challenge if you are not you don't agree when with one question. Answer of a ruling or whatever. Let me beat this bitch real quick. Whoa! Woo. Then let's get ready let's to Schmoda! Hot and heavy already! Ah. Now I have to on my finger. Woo. I painted my first table. First question okay. coming in is in the category of MCU. Which film saw the first appearance of Andy Serkis's Ulysses Claw? Glad we didn't have a fight, Roxy, in that first uh, opening second there. I felt it inside. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. Looking for Avengers Age with of Jay. Ultron. Avengers Age of Ultron. That is correct for a point, Kevin. Age of Ultron. Age I need a new marker, too. Age of Ultron there. <laughs> Question number two, Roxy. Question number two on the category one point. of Star Wars. I got this. <laughs> right. You're not playing, Ken. <laughs> Me and too, I hope. Clones, what is the base color of Obi-Wan's starfighter that he pilots to Kamino and then to Geonosis? Good job on that, Geonosis. I almost Red. passed out. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Looking for answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Kevin. With blue. Incorrect. White. Incorrect. Looking for red. Red. He dr flies his really red. R4P17 uh, was his, his droid. His, uh, his Jedi Starfighter. <laughs> <laughs> Question three out of ten, gentlemen. Question three out of ten in the category of Middle Two Earth. Two points for me. Middle Earth. 
In right. the desolation of Smaug, which dwarf becomes gravely ill after an orc shoots him with a poisoned arrow? Arrow, excuse me, arrow. Of all the happens. things I couldn't pronounce, arrow yeah, was the one. Yeah, got through Smaug. <laughs> <just gone. laughs> Smaug. Four, three, Gilly. two, and one. Jay Washington. I hate the Hobbit movies. All right, fair enough. He misses it. Played by Aiden Turner. It is Keely. It is Keely. Two one lead. Two one lead. <laughs> I would like to say for the record, of course Three he points. know his family members. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Me too. Wow. Ah. Wow. Keep talking, buddy. All right, all right. Uh, Roxy question fourth four? question. Yeah, Keely here we go. Keely was actually tall for a dwarf. In the category of DC, who plays Lois Lane in Superman Returns? Now we're going to... Now this is me. Now you know this yeah. one. Yeah, that's the first question I've known in years. Theaters. Five, four, three, two, and one. Look for answers starting with the Smasher. Kevin Smets. You can borrow my Netflix password. It's Kate Bosworth. All right. Jay Washington. I have my own, but I refuse to watch that movie again. Okay. Three, one, three, one. Three, one. All right. Fifth question. Fifth question. We are halfway right, guys, through so round I number one. Fifth uh, question comes in the category of Marvel. But I am, so I'm going to restart the video. 19 minutes, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay? So, let's go. Boston. <laughs> Fifth question. Fourth question. All right, we got a JT Marvel. rule there. Stan Lee right. has a cameo in which Spider-Man film, in which he tells Peter Parker that one person can make a difference. Might be a little strategy on Jay's part there to rerun the options through his brain. I like it there. Looking for answers in five, four, Spider -Man three, three, two, and one. Jay. Spider Man 2. Incorrect, Kevin. Spider Man 2. Incorrect. Looking for Spider Man Ooh. 3. Spider Man 3. Still very close in the Still numbers. very close. It's close, man. It's close. <laughs> Pause for him right now. All right, six question questions. number six. Go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. Let's go, Jay. Can I ask a question, uh, though, and then he can go? Okay. Here we go. Category six. Harry Potter. Right. What kind of creature is sentenced to death for attacking Draco Malfoy in Prisoner of Azkaban? Mm, okay. Um, do you know how many uh, glasses of Butterbear I can drink in one visit to Universal? Seven. Eight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Kevin. Hippogriff. Yeah. That is correct for point. Damn, I had the basilics. I had the wrong one. All right, Bing. you did that. Five, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. What happens? All right. Seventh question comes in the category of Star Trek. Star Trek. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in Star Trek Into Darkness, after attacking Starfleet, Khan flees to Kronos, the homeworld of what alien species? If only they saw how that was spelled. I have oh, seen that uh, movie. You know, this times, is why I, I like Star Wars better. Uh, five, four, three, two, and one. J. Gabor. Incorrect, Kevin. Klingon. That's right. That was my second one. That was my second one. one. That was my second one. Fuck. AKA the Wrath of Kaiser. Kaiser. Bro. All right. Can we? Get I'm, I'm over him. Get, uh, get, uh, yeah. Uh, Question number eight in the category of DCEU. Who played Victor Stone in Justice League? See, now I'm getting all the DC questions. You, this is what you, you're, this is you for know, me. You're DC Movie News Roxy over there. It's true. All right. Looking for answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens are down. Kevin. Ray Fisher. That is correct. Ray Fisher. That is yeah, correct. Six points. two, six two. Jay's good points, it. guys. All right. Interviewed him. Very nice guy. Good for you. Good for you. Ninth question. <laughs> Ninth question comes in the category of heroes and villains. Heroes and villains. What is the name of the aquatic empath? <laughs> from the Ron the Perlman Hellboy films. We're looking for the first oh, right, and right, last right. name. I don't even know what I just asked. Yeah, honestly, I it was a little know. lost on me too. It's a fever Eight, dream I just had. Mm. How you feeling? Five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Jay. I didn't have it. 
not did not have it. Abe Sapien. That's correct. Abe Sapien is answer. Seven Abe two, seven two, seven two. Seven two. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Final question in this round, Roxy. Final question. Yep. Yeah, question ten. It's a mixed bag. In 2014's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who provided the voice of Leonardo? <laughs> Not an actor, but a voice actor. Mixed bag. You never know what you're going to get. You never know. It's kind of like uh, uh, you know, turtles on a half shell there. Uh, Jay's so got to get seven this points in the first round. Not bad. Round two, oh, five, I mean, I four, thought I would do three, like two, two and one. Looking for answers starting with Kevin. Johnny Knoxville. That's correct. Jay. I'm with Corey Feldman. I Corey Feldman. <laughs> Let's do a I dance like Corey Feldman. I don't know. See. All right. Where are his angels, though? Where All we right. We are going to round two. Round two is the one here. that uh, the, 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 the wheel round. The wheel is a fickle mistress sometimes. Both uh, managers and uh, valets and friends uh, heading up to talk to their opponents there. Roxy, we're going to round two. Anything can happen because it's the wheel round. The wheel of death. The wheel of death. Or the life. wheel of doom. The wheel of death. Today, depending, here's what you're gonna do. We're gonna spin. You will got you guys are gonna get five questions, by the way. You'll get two chances to get a category you like, but spinner's choice and opponent's choice are on the wheels. So if you hit those, you get stuck with yeah. that, or you get to receive that gift. Uh, we'll remind you that two point questions are on the table here, I mean, unless I'm you want multiple choice, then you get one me. point. You will have a chance to steal. In this one, uh, you, Jay, have used one JT rule. Kevin, you have three remaining. With that said, Kevin, you are in the lead. It is your choice to spin yeah, first or questions. defer. Yeah. I will defer. He's going to put the pressure on Jay Washington. Okay. Jay, let's give it a big spin here. I feel like Jay likes the pressure, though. Jay does like pressure. He likes putting on pressure. He likes staring down. Kevin's still here. Yeah. Doesn't whoa. even look. He's look. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The Attention. stare down. What's the score? Oh, who, uh, What's the score, Jay? Kevin's looking at the scoreboard here, but the wheel is going it's around. Eight to two, Jay. And Good round. spin. Good and spin. And around Jay. it is coming down to it will be Marvel, Marvel movies. movies. All right. Marvel movies. Jay is sticking with it. All right. Jay is sticking with it. Roxy, would you like to ask the five questions? We'll see how game. I do. We'll do our very best. Here we go, Jay. First question. In 2000's X-Men, what Marie. is Rogue's real first Marie. name? Two points there, no hesitation. Back in the game. Didn't Back even in blink. The game. Didn't even blink. Question number two: What name does the Devil go by in 2007's Ghost Rider? Mephisto. 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 I'm just gonna say Mephisto. Multiple choice. Is it A? Mephisto. Yes. B. Blackheart. C. <laughs> what the caretaker. Fuck? <laughs> or D. Blackheart. <laughs> Blackheart. That's Mephisto. correct. <laughs> Mephisto for a one point steal. Or? One point steal. One point steal. Yeah. Blackheart. Yeah. Blackheart's the sign. Yeah. Is, is All right. Third question out of five. Third question out of five. <laughs> Question number three. What university does Peter Parker attend in Spider-Man mm. 2? Columbia? Columbia? Spider-Man questions today. Is it black? Uh, <laughs> Not an option. Uh, Columbia. Multiple choice. Is it A, New York University, B, Manhattan, Univer uh, Manhattan College, C, Columbia, Columbia uh, University, or D, Rutgers choice. University? Columbia University. That's correct for a point there from Jay. Fourth question, fourth question. Question number four. In Deadpool 2, what supervillain teams up with Russell after breaking out of police custody? Juggernaut. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Juggernaut is the one. Two points, that two points. Correct. Final question in this round. Can Jay tie it? Question five. In X2 X-Men United, after escaping Stryker's raid on the mansion, what pop song plays loudly bye, bye, when bye, Pyro bye, turns bye, on the bye, radio bye, 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 and is Cyclops is called? The title is Bye Bye Bye. I mean, that's the, that scene is amazing. Multiple choice. Is it I A? Is it A? Bye Bye Bye. B. Wanna Be. C. Everybody. Backstreet's back. Or D. Baby, one more time. Backstreet's back. 
No, Scott. No. No, 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 no. Bye, bye, bye. That is correct. That is bye, correct. bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> One point still for Kevin. It is 10 7, though. Jay did pull to uh, to striking distance, but Kevin gets to spin here and see if he can take a lead. Kevin, go ahead and oh, give the wheel a spin. Please, Please spin don't. from the wheel or use your mind, just not the pegs. I can't see those pegs fly anymore. <laughs> Kevin walking away, a lot of nervous That's energy. He's like a fighter. Ooh. You never know with this wheel, though. There we go. One. Could it be Fight. Harry Potter? Okay. Harry oh. Potter. All right. First question out of five coming in for you here now, Kevin. What location does the secret tunnel under the Whomping Willow lead to? First used in the Prisoner of Azkaban. That is mm -hmm. correct for two yeah. points there. Casa de los Gritos in Spanish. All right. Second question out of five is, who is the Quidditch captain for Gryffindor in Harry Potter Oliver and the Wood. Sorcerer's Stone? Oliver Wood. Oliver Wood, no hesitation there. All right, this is the third question. In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Newt brought a Frank. Thunderbird to the United I mean, States Frank? to release. Really? What was the name of Frank. Newt's? Two points there, two points there. Fourth question here, Jay's looking for a steal. He does need it. Fourth question, Kevin. Who plays the completely despicable and vile Dolores Umbridge? Imelda Staunton. Staunton. Two All more right. points wow. there. Guess Harry Potter's a strength. All I right. don't know how I knew that name. Fifth and final okay, question in the Harry Potter category here. A lot is on the line. Jay needs to steal. If uh, Kevin hits this, uh, we might be shouting to the rooftops here. Final question. In The Half-Blood Prince, who was Ginny Weasley dating Dean before Thomas. kissing Harry in the Room of Requirements? Can you repeat the question? In The Half-Blood Prince, who was Ginny Weasley dating before kissing Harry in the Room? Dean Thomas. And Joe! Whoa! Another KO. Oh. over that one there. Wow. Ethan Common to console Jay. Wow, Ken. That's how he Final got his score. name. Woo. Smasher. Final score of 20 to 7. Let's give it up for Jay. Give it up for Jay. Um, the crowd. They're loving Jay. crowd definitely behind Jay Washington. They, they've grown to love Jay Washington, especially after his live appearance in New York. So Jay still has a lot to give here at the Schmodown. You can sense it from the fans, but this was uh, a, 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 tough, yep. a tough loss, but a I big mean, win for score. Kevin, Roxy. I mean, that wheel round was just insane. He yeah. didn't even blink. He didn't even, it just was question after question. How do you top that? You can't. It's very tough to top that, but you know what? Uh, let, let, let's, let's stop talking about it ourselves. <laughs> let's hear what the players have to say. They're back with Jen Sturger right now. Thanks, guys. I'm backstage with Jay Washington, the Urban Gladiator, and Ethan Irwin. Oh. I could tell you were beating yourself up there. I, I saw you pulling for answers that you had. That I knew. Yeah. That I, you they know, just didn't come out. And I, I, you know what, that's a part of the game. That's a part of the game, it happens. You have answers on the tip of your tongue. I knew Abe Sapien, I couldn't remember it. The damn Bye 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 to between Backstreet Boys, I was like, I knew it was one of those pop songs. I couldn't pull it. But you know what? Let me just break this down. Yeah, I called him out because this is about respect. I've been here. We've been doing this a certain way. The kid's the real deal. I get it. I give him credit. The idiot he's with is still an idiot. Still not a fan. And of I Kaiser, still huh? am the Mad Titan. Check out the podcast. But you know, <laughs> just this is so creepy. No. Yes. You're patting me. That's right. right. So yeah. Obviously, I love not Jay. a huge fan of Kaiser. No. Like I said, I. You know what? I give him credit. I give him credit. He he did his study and he knew his game. He he landed Smets, on what he wanted. Not Kaiser. Yeah, because Kaiser doesn't know how to study. He doesn't know how to read. It's clear and evident he doesn't know how. It is clear as day he's illiterate. It is clear as day he needs to be hooked on phonics. <laughs> One, two, three, four, all the way to 37. It is evident 
that he is remedial. It is clear as day he was in the special classes. It is clear and proof that he was in those classes in the buildings behind the regular high school. It is just proof of that. Look at him. Yeah. And what about you, Ethan? Got anything? I mean, Kaiser is human garbage, for sure. Oh, whoa. Um, but look, it was, you know, it's a tough loss. I've been there recently. It sucks. We pick ourselves up. We keep on going. I learned that from you, my friend. And and watching you, I've learned that from you. And I'm not I'm not gonna hold my head down on this. Yeah, I'm like one in four in inner geekdom, but guess what? I'll say this to the internet, to people watching. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> I'll say this to people watching. Yeah, you, you thought he, you knew he was gonna do what he did, but guess what? I didn't go down just without swinging. And I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna keep coming back in this inner geekdom every damn chance I get. Just another match means more watching, more reviewing, more studying, and coming for that little pipsqueak's ass one more again. Yeah, one more again, that's her thing. I swear for a One more again. Kevin Smets, you got another one coming. Congratulations on your win, I'll give you that. But this next ass whooping is guaranteed, damn it. I, I don't we got it, we got it. I don't, I, this, yeah. Thanks, guys. I'm back with Kevin Smasher. All right, Smets, you're 2-0 now. Obviously, you're making a name for yourself here in the inner geekdom. Took down Jay Washington. Um, it was a bold move. Came in here and made a statement. What are you doing? Like, what's next? Jen, the real story is somebody call Rachel Cushing. Maybe send her a text. Get her in the building. We'd take her right now if she's available. <laughs> Rachel Cushing? Why not? I don't know, because she's an inner geekdom legend. She's kind okay. of a heavyweight around here. Jen, we don't care who you are, if you're at the bottom or you're at the top. We want everybody. We're taking them all out. Good, bad, champion, no champion. Whoever fight puts in front of us, he's going to smash. Okay, so um, maybe we work our way up, though, to Rachel Cushing. Mm. Um, you know, I... Well, apparently Navarro's in the witness relocation program. No one can find him. We yeah. asked for him. We haven't heard back from Hector. It's, it's true. Um... Is there anyone else that you've been looking for? Look, I told, I, he does the talking for me. I come in here, I told everybody that I would win. I told people on social media that I would win, and I won, and now I'm 2-0, two, oh, two knockouts. I have him in here to speak for me because I need to focus on the next victim. I have called out Hector Navarro. Jay called me out, I didn't call Jay out, and now Jay got knocked out. And I called out Hector Navarro, and you're asking me who else I want to, I don't want to face Hector Navarro. And if that's not there, then the next person up the line, and then, and then, and then. If it's Kalinowski, if it's Cushing, it doesn't matter, because I'm here to win. Just give me someone to play, and I will win. And what about all of this stuff that, you know, people are kind of getting fed up with your, your voice, man. You know, like Kaiser's kind of making a, I don't know, he's getting reputation for kind of being a, an asshole. <laughs> I'm not Kaiser's babysitter, okay? I, I come in here and I'm focused. I come from a sports background and uh, he comes in here to do all the talking for me. When I walk into this studio, all I am is focused on the next thing, the next question, the next round. So I'm not here sitting, talking, answering questions, sending videos back and forth. That's what he can do while I focus on the next match. And no one's giving me him at Navarro, so I don't know what, who's next. Can you pass along a message to Christian for me? Sure. Stop going to sleep studies to find our opponents, and maybe we'll get some real competition. All right, there oh. you go. Jay, uh, you know, it seems like he's okay after the loss. He doesn't want to lose, that, that, no doubt about that. I think, again, nice to see Ethan Irwin there on his side, kind of yeah. uh, sticking with him here. You know, Ethan's coming off a big loss, too. It isn't about the losses. It's how you get back up Ethan's and go for the next wins again. there. But Jay, <laughs> very clearly not a fan of Kaiser. Though, and I Roxy. kind of am getting why. He kind of understands. He comes why. in hot. He does come in hot there. But let's talk about Kevin Smets. This was uh, about not, uh, maybe making his name and, and earning some respect uh roxy uh, do you think he has it because he made a big call uh call out there i know he keeps coming after hector and at first i said he he hasn't earned it but this definitely gets him one step closer we just watch what he is capable of and i don't know if i was hector i definitely would be looking out for smets you know hector hasn't uh, been around these parts for a while he is a former champion he wanted to take a little bit of break i don't know what's going on his mind. he's he's a hard cookie to 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 read sometimes a hard cat to read a cookie's what's on my mind because I'm hungry. But, I love cookies, too. Um, I'm, I'm very curious if Hector wants to do this, uh, if he feels like he needs to, but uh, it seems, though, like Kevin, eh. he's gonna, he and Kaiser are going to make I this mean, happen, and they're going, match. they want to go. Uh, they want to go all the way to San Diego Comic-Con. They are eyeing Rachel the Crusher Cushing, which 
you know, to even I'm consider yourself victor. ready at this point, that takes a lot of guts because we know what Rachel can do, Roxy. Oh, let's not kid ourselves, though. We can't call him even close to Rachel at this point. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um... That was a big matchup there, Roxy. It's always good to have you here at the desk. Uh, we have a lot of things going on here in the movie Trivia Shmoto, and this was an inner geekdom division matchup today. We got the teams, we got the singles, we got the live events. I hope you're going to TriviaSD.com. Yeah. Uh, really William good. Bibiani and his team of writers really work it's, it's hard to give you the really stats good. and stories behind everything you're watching here, so please check that out. And if you want to be a Patreon supporter, go to Patreon.com slash Shmodown. And Roxy, the live events are really fun. Yeah, they're awesome. And speaking of which, get your tickets tickets at theshmowdownlive.com because we've got something coming up that's at least a thousand miles away from you. We've got uh, so many We things. got a lot. I'll tell you what, I love it because it gives me a chance to drink at hotel lobby bars, but we got a lot of events coming. Check out and stay tuned here. That is it. Big win for Kevin. We'll see what's next for Jay. For Roxy, I'm the Pit Boss Cat Napsack. We'll see you all next time on the movie. Trivia Schmodown. Let's see. There is. See. No. All right. So. That's it for now. I actually did pretty well, better than what I thought I, I could do because sometimes in the first round there are some tricky questions in the categories I don't really know so well. I was lucky to, I don't know, I was lucky to have seen the Star Trek movie and the two, I think the two questions, no, I missed three questions. Two of them were DC, I think. And the other one was... I don't remember what I missed, but anyways. Ah, right, the voice actor. All of... Most of the actor's question I missed. Because I'm not good with that. But the second round, I mean, in Marvel I didn't miss. I, I, I'm proud of that, because Harry Potter is my second strength, so I did how I guessed I will do, even though the... Dolores Umbridge, Imelda Stanton, I don't really know how that name is in my head, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the movie Trivia Schmodown and you want to compete in a fun league with uh, me with DJ Snacks and Guideline and other and a lot of mods of the Discord, Movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon Discord, we are putting together and working hard to make uh, a fun league that is going to be very close to the movie Trivia Schmodown in, in terms of format. So the only thing you have to do is uh, become a Patreon of the movie Trivia Schmodown. I think it's the $2 tier. We'll, make, we'll give you access to the Discord and then you can just play in our, in our league. We are going to start... I don't know when we are going to start exactly, but we are going to start with the singles league, so that's the thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, follow me, please, on social media, the Twitter that I just recently made. So I need diffusion. I need you guys to share this if you like it. Please like, subscribe, and everything. And I'll see you in the next video.